Brought to you by Gopher Pro Video Solutions, professional YouTube business video. The first Wednesday night game of the year for the Dunlop sees the Dundas Real McCoys visit Iroquois Park Arena. Scott Mifsud starts off the scoring midway through the first period to put Dundas up one to nothing. Before the start of the second, the fans were treated to a synchronized skating performance by the Ajax Ice Waves from the Ajax Skating Club as part of the Ajax Pickering Board of Trade Night in support of Epilepsy Durham. About six and a half minutes into the period, Captain Jason McCauley ties it up as he threads a needle past netminder Brian Waros. Midway through the period, Dundas takes the lead again as Scott Carbonos slips one past Anthony Kimlin. It's 2-1 to one for the real McCoys. But just over a minute later, the Dunnies tie it up again as Darren Doherty finds the five hole for his 12th goal of the year. And that's pretty much how it would stay till the last few seconds of the period when a mishandling of the puck by Kimlin allows Cam Watson to knock it loose, get a shot, and have Scott Mifsud pounce on a juicy rebound that he easily buries in the net for his second of the night. The third sees a flurry of scoring starting with this one by Cam Watson right along the ice that puts Dundas up 4-2. Penalty shot is awarded to Kyle Musselman on this hook and he makes good on the unimpeded attempt bringing the Dunnies to within one. A few minutes later this blast from Steve Cornelison finds the top corner past Worrells tying it up again this time at four goals apiece. The Dunlops didn't stop there. Breaking Peter McCuller gets a nice feed from Martin Kearns and makes no mistake all in the front. Then again, less than a minute later, McKellar splits the defense and finds the same top corner past Worrells. The Dunlops are up 6-4. Brett McConaughey picks up a stretch pass behind the Dundas defense, walks in all alone and slides one along the ice for his seventh of the year, putting the Dunnies up 7-4. With three minutes to go in the game, Peter McKellar slips the puck over to Jason McCauley in the high slot, who roosts it for his second of the night, his 11th of the season, giving the Dunlops a commanding four-goal lead. But the McCoys are not ones to give up as they battle to the final second of the game, scoring this one just prior to the final buzzer, as if to say, last goal wins, but of course it doesn't. Dunlops win 8-5. For ticket information and upcoming games, visit WhitbyDunlops.com. Allen Cup Hockey, amateur sportsmanship at its best. It's the highest level of men's hockey outside of pro.